Hello and welcome back to Song of Horror. Let's see. Uh, we found Daniel. That's all I remember. And he was in the hospital. This is where we left off. Last time on Song of Horror. appears as though the Prince of Slumber will be granting us an audience. Hello. How are you feeling, Your Highness? Uh, my head. I had a dream. I... I'm okay. Thanks for coming, Lydia. What? Good also, who's Lydia? Mr. Neuer. I'm Alexander Laskin. I work for the Hasha family. He's the one who found you. Oh. I, uh... Thank you very much, Mr. Laskin. Without you, uh, I don't know. The pleasure is mine. You see, I would like to help you find Mr. Sebastian. I, uh... I need to know what happened to him and to my wife. wonder if this of is course, different. <laughs> I'm feeling much better. In fact, because that's who I rescued him with. leaving here as soon as possible, and... Daniel, the doctor said you need complete rest. Complete. What if that guy had died? Really? I found this. Apparently, Husher received a music box from an acquaintance of his. A certain Mr. Farber. Farber. It seems as though he was researching the music box when he vanished. And from what Farber says, the music box may be related to everything that has happened. I'm not sure we should stick our nose into this business after everything that's occurred. We need to find Husher. I saw the box that Farber describes in this letter, but it wasn't really there. It was as if it were on the other side of... You know, I think we should pay a visit to this father and ask him about the music box and Husha. Mm, I don't he think he's going to like that. In the city, not far from here. Who's the big shop? Daniel, please. I'm fine, really. I think going to a shop and asking the owner a few questions falls within the range of what we can do, don't you? Yeah, I wonder if that, uh, if anything was different because I rescued... Well who I rescued him with, and the fact that that guy even survived. Erica Faba. Hmm. Oh wait, is this the, uh... I'd lose it all to find myself. Alright, who are we losing first? Dang, she has got no strength or self. Uh... Wait, what about... Who was the girl that he was talking to? Alright, we're all taking him. Bonus item. I didn't want to bring the haikus. Uh, I forgot which button's my light source. Okay, I just... Oh, it's a candle. <laughs> I was like, the guy's just holding this bottle. October 1st, 
never leave keys like that there. Find a better place to hide your keys. Freak the heck out of anybody that might be here. Ah, yes. I, uh, broke in. Mr. Faber should be around here somewhere. Should be. I would love to... Oh. Hi, uh, yes, I'd like to become, uh, older? <laughs> Was that maybe big? Let's see. Can't find it. I, um, hmm. that was like a really difficult for me to actually read. <laughs> I wanted to read the back of it. Two persis. Music box. Let's see. Take this. <laughs> I, um... This place is creepy. Even like during the day. This place is well lit and everything. <laughs> Still be really creepy. Oh hey, another chest. Set. Shots to chess. Big fan. Yo, hello, Delita. And welcome. We are um currently Investigating the location of the music box. Uh, I have to sneeze, which is why I paused. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Sneezed. Everything left with that sneeze. Uh, the music box apparently came from this store, the shop, originally. So now we're searching for the owner of the shop to find more information about the music box. But there's no one here. We are in episode two out of five. This game was originally re released episodically. Hmm. 
there's something mm. in his mouth. Yo, hello, Seawalker. I just sneezed, and now I need to blow my nose. Security lock and metal bars. Nah. Hmm. Alright. Before we get into too spooky, I have to blow my nose. <laughs> Been uh, eventful so far. <clears throat> okay, sorry, I'm back. Just realized I left the laptop on overnight. It's, it's probably fine. It's a laptop. All right, I want to put my hand in that thing's mouth. <laughs> well, let's ex let's do a few other things first. Hmm. Are we still drunk, Russian husband? We are currently drunk, Russian husband. I um do not know. All right, so here's the thing. There was a cutscene earlier um, where you run. This guy's like, "Hey, I want to know what happened to my wife and all this other stuff." And I kind of wonder if the story is different based on the fact that he survived, or alternately, when I tried to select Daniel, when I had the option of selecting characters at the beginning. Uh, it gave me a warning about, um, Daniel. If you lose Daniel, then you have to restart the entire chapter. So I wonder if the same thing would have been true of this guy. Uh, if he's actually part of the story or, um, if this is just playing out based on who I had left over kind of thing. Uh, I picked this guy because he's the only character we really knew. So I figure uh, we'll learn about the other characters as we lose more. <laughs> I like this guy though. I'll be sad if he if we lose him. I need a new dressmaker, dummy. We had the option of so this uh is Faba's place, their like antique shop. We had the option of playing as the daughter, um, a police officer, and Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we don't lose any more characters. Aw. Uh. Thirty years ago. All right, first things first, check the bathroom. The statue's gonna like reach over. <laughs> oh, 
I'll check the bathrooms first. <gasps> Mirror. Nothing in the box. So that the music box can get into the real world. Yo, give me the samurai sword. Big gun, but guns from that age couldn't shoot more than like uh, a <laughs> couple meters ahead of you. Not very far. Gallery. Oh, gallery. Oh, we're close. There's no ordinary door. <laughs> it's like muskets. I always laugh at muskets. Because you couldn't shoot somebody like across the room. You'd probably miss. Or like, if you aim for their head, you might hit them in the foot. Uh, real luxury item, Sebastian. That's a lot of stamps. Um, are you okay? <laughs> it's scared, whatever it is. It's understandable. This is a spooky game. Alright, where have I not been? Uh, so my options now are... Wait, there's the door next to the water closet. the key. Oh, I see. Is that the key? Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> Isaac, Marley, Gibbs. I don't remember what the girl's name was. Outside. What is even the point of uh, a thing like this <laughs> over the top? You don't have a sheet for it. Still can't see anybody around here. Yo, football. Let's play.
Hmm. Yes. Oh, really? I didn't get sucked into the trash can. Press one if you thought I would get sucked into the trash can. One. There are so many places I can go. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I really... Something here. Like I hear a noise. I think this is the noise I hear. Alright, well. Alright, I'm putting my hand in the samurai's mouth. Yes. Okay. Alright, I didn't get owned. Here's where we turn into Tom Hanks. Tom? Wah. Protection, there's something you forgot. Remember it and you will be blessed. Oh, I see. Play and win, play and lose. Having doubts, go right through. Ah. Uh, okay. There's something I forgot. Remember it. I don't remember. <laughs> what did I forget? Is this a door? Looks like a window. Where am I? Alright, door number one. Door number two. Hmm. Wait, do I still have any keys? No. Door number three. Can't tell if that's something or not. And door number four. This is it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right, door of the shed. I am waiting until something happens.
big disappointment. I'm going in. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> no. I do not understand a thing. Ah. Uh, why? Would you do that? Yes. What do you mean that makes no sense? Alright, there's like a little... There was a highlighted thing? Did I imagine it? No, there it is. Is it outside? Might be outside. It is outside. Alright, left or right? Team left. Hashtag team left. I keep seeing this guy's tattoo, and I wish I had, like, tattoos for when I'm super old. People are like, why you got all these crazy tattoos? What do they mean? And then I'm like, uh. Ooh. Incidents. Small leak. Counting the door. Melody. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> These are all my anime waifus. Here, we gotta go down to the end of this. Oh, no. All right. What am I looking for? Sebastian? Oh, no. <laughs> what am I even looking for? Heather Mason. <laughs> I'm telling you, this game is just full of, like, references. Like, if I knew any of these other names... <laughs> Zero nine. Oh, let me write this down. Hmm. Only know any of these names. I only know Heather Mason because I'm uh, I've lived a sheltered life. Like, I assume there might be like um, what was the name of that one show that everybody watched? Twin Peaks. Was there a Walter Sullivan on there? <laughs> Wait, this guy's name is Walter Sullivan. <laughs> I, it didn't connect because it was backwards. Uh, Grant. 
Amsberg. Grant Amsberg. Yeah, Walt Sullivan is in um, Silent Hill 4. Technically 2 and 4, I think. They mentioned him in the area, I think, in 2 with um, where you get the, the can. I say can. It's like the snake coin. You throw the cans to the chute. Yeah. When you go to the bottom of the chute, they talk about him there. What was I looking for? <laughs> Uh, let me, um, I'm not going to remember. LeGrant Amsberg. <clears throat> like, more of these names probably are from things. Like, if I'd ever seen Twin Peaks, I'm sure maybe there's probably, like, some Twin Peaks references in here, too. I feel like Twin Peaks references are in every horror game. And like Chloe Browning sounds familiar too. I only know of like two Chloe's. I don't remember the last name. Are they just not here or am I overlooking this? All right, I think that puzzle's not relevant to me yet. Oh, more names. Ugh. Actually, let me, hold on. Let me write these names down. There's two names I wanted to write down. Grant Amsberg. And also, this guy's name, Walt Sullivan. <clears throat> I haven't played four in a long time. I don't remember four all that well. going on in there. Erica Farber. That's the other girl you can play as. Alright, either their names aren't here or I overlooked them. I watched somebody, uh, well, I didn't watch a whole lot of it. I watched a little bit of a speedrun of 4, not that long ago. And although I didn't like 4 all that much, I kind of would like to play through it again sometime in the near future. It's like a dollar on GOG most of the time. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> me. Three dead bolts, I see.
That, the worst part of that is like that. Just thinking about the that, like how quickly it just like all happened. <laughs> yes. Like if you were on that, you're like, "Hey, friend," and they hit the button, and then it just drops like that. It's like Final Destination. Several locks. All right. So what am I missing? What have we not done? Uh, that needs a key. I got a lot of puzzles, but I don't know that I can do any of them. The shop has... Let's see. One of those puzzles is... Uh, not even really a puzzle. One of those is... What do the two dots mean, I wonder? Uh, there was a switch at the counter I couldn't do. Which is the one, um, I'll use this arrow. This one, and this one by this bottom arrow here, is the switch that wouldn't work. This is the machine with the, uh, coin slots, which I guess I'm still missing coins for. Uh, these random dots, I don't know what they're for, so I guess we'll go check those out. And then this is... It was next to the samurai thing. <clears throat> I don't know that I've done anything. And I couldn't get through this door. Yeah, let's go find out what those dots are, I guess. I had to miss something else somewhere, for sure. Oh, so they're pillars. Or are they? There's so many things to, like, look at. It seems like it's really easy to, like, miss. Uh... Yeah gotta be those pillars all right well then I'm stumped oh what was that what was that watch out you're about to get slapped yeah it is a reinforced door I cannot hear anything through it how did that do? Uh, ah! Ah! What was that? Ah! I hear a heartbeat. But it might be my own heartbeat. Ooh. It's 
Got to look at the camera. <laughs> Ew. Whatever I just saw, it is not there anymore. <laughs> Where is it? Frank. Watching the picture in the corner on the left. None of the like head statues changed either. Nothing unusual in there. Nothing unusual in there, you say. vibrating to enter ask at the counter I would like to enter yeah I don't uh what am I missing Alright, uh, so I need a crank. Hey, Mooglix, how's it going? Alright, what was this? Oh, right. Yeah. Security lock with metal bars. I just feel like switching it up. Sometimes, some some days you're just like, you know what? I feel like switching it up. Um, there's nowhere I can go. I need a crank. So at this point, I guess I just revisit everything. And see what I might have missed. <laughs> Korean kid who lives in the U.S. Ah, oh, that sounds familiar. Did you have a good chat with him? <laughs> Dang. How did he handle early game? That's all I want to know. If I can get out of early game, I generally can do well. But, like, getting out of early game... And, like, so far, um... Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like a lot of people are now doing the BOA uh, route. Which I don't, I don't know very well. I don't know what that player is using, but it does seem like a lot of people switched over to BOA just because the, like, southern part of the map is just too crowded nowadays. Anyways, back to Song of Horror. I'm really, really, really lost. To the point in which I probably should look it up. The yellow gun is the magna, uh, the magnum boa. Uh, which, yeah, you have to pick up extra guns and stuff to get. This is a new house, yes. 
So in the story, so thus far, we, um... Daniel woke up in uh, the hospital and... Uh, he wanted to investigate the music box further. So we're going to the antique shop where the guy found the music box originally or something like that. So now we're in the antique shop. Um, we're still playing as the husband of the caretaker of the previous house. What was the resolution of the first house? This guy found Daniel in the secret door and then got out. Daniel woke up in the hospital. This is the husband of um, Masha, who were the caretakers of the mansion. The, like, uh, groundskeeper. It was not a real door. <laughs> There's a lot of, like, inclination that there's some sort of mirror world. I agree, Edis. I would stay far away from it. But... For the sake of the video game. Alright, I have this hanger. Alright, so let's take a moment to sit right here. And think about what we have access to. So I can't get in here. Mistakes were made. Mistakes? No. Much steaks. I love steak. Alright, so like, it looks like I can get in from up top, but I have to get into this room, maybe, or uh, up here somewhere. So... Can't appear to get up there. I swear I just saw a thing. All right. Oops, that's locked. I can eat steak. All right, some of you got might get a kick out of this. I laughed. Uh, Delita laughed. We all laughed. It was hilarious. So like, I I've been meaning I've been mentioning things that like. There's a lot of references to things I feel like in these games. <laughs> uh, especially to like every other horror game ever. I don't know a whole lot about Twin Peaks, but I'm sure there's some Twin Peaks references in here too. Like, we found a Heather Mason, and we also found, um, Walter Sullivan, and I forgot who the other one was that Delita mentioned. Oh, Joseph Schreiber. Left one row. This row? Like, I think Alicia Copeland might be... Um... Twin Peaks? <laughs> I'm not sure. Nobody quote me on that. Alright, there's a few of these where you can, like, kind of see something in the back, but I can't actually, like, do anything. None of these names are anything I've seen. 
I assume I should be able to like see something when I'm able. I don't know that guessing my way through this is gonna help. So the only names. Okay. Uh. So Walter Sullivan. Wrote down his code. I didn't see his name in there anywhere. I mean, I recognize the name. Um, Sebastian Husher, I don't think we saw. Which is the guy from the original chapter. I can't actually read any of these names. Walter Sullivan? Yeah, I think so. He's mentioned in Silent Hill 2 as well. Uh, what was the other name? There's like a weird noise coming from one of these. Yeah, I may have to look this up because I I'm at a loss. For sure. I didn't see a Walter Sullivan. I didn't see um the Grants, and I didn't see the other guy whose name I already forgot. R.M. Mackerel. Mickerel. Oh, that was the Joseph, I think. Like, it's got to be something in one of these boxes that I have to, like, look at from a weird angle. Because I can't think of anything else I could do. Saw what the hangar is used for? Is it here? I mean, you've seen all the rooms. And, like, this right here... I tried using the hanger, but it was like, uh, I might reach the keys, but the key ring looks too small to hook on to. I think at this point I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah, but I haven't found, I haven't found whatever the other object is. I haven't found, like, glue or something. Uh, what is the name of this game? Song of <laughs> Horror Walkthrough Episode 2. Nah, I'll just look it up. It's fine. Uh, we did that. I got the hanger. Silver, I got that. I never found the gold token. Oh, it's an achievement thing. Let's see, I did all that.
I apparently missed a door. Yeah, I don't... Uh, yeah, the cellar stairway. Apparently that's open now, I guess. That wasn't... That was locked before. Or barred or something. I see where it is. It's next to the samurai is what this guide says. I went the wrong way. Yeah, the, um, so on the map, all right, we'll use the bottom arrow. This door right here was like barred before, which is why there's like, I don't know. It wasn't available before. So that's really weird that now it is. Just out of nowhere. No scene attached to it. Either I'm going to go over there and something will happen, or... Yeah, what the heck? Oh wait, this is not the door. <laughs> yeah, I went over here before. <laughs> Shovel girl? Uh, ketchup girl? This wasn't available, or I mean, what the heck? Why did this just randomly open up? <laughs> I, I assume we're talking about the same girl. <laughs> Not surprised. Mm -mm. Yeah. Here you are, you bloody confusion. <sighs> Peculiar, peculiar. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And well, now I can get the hanger. So, Luca Lake, uh, Twin Peaks reference. <laughs> Is it the lake from, uh, that stabby guy? Is this the chapter of Silent Hill references? <laughs> There's been a lot so far in this chapter. Wait. The Luca Lake was in Silent Hill 1 as well, I think. Or two. Whichever one. Here's the one where you had to row the boat across to Luca Lake, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that dumb boat rowing section. <laughs> that was two. Alright, since I speed ran both games, they're like blobbed together in my head. I still want to learn the run for Silent Hill 3 at some point in my life. I just don't know when that will ever happen. Oh boy. Uh oh. Is he blind? Uh 
Control your breathing by gently moving. <laughs> I don't, uh, try to keep the white circle. Hold on. Gently moving left and right trigger. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing right now. I have zero idea what I was doing right there. This must be a hallucination, a test, a nightmare. I was holding L and then like going letting and holding and letting go of R based on how big the circle was. keys i love physics and video games <laughs> it's so weird like i as uh, being somebody really old <laughs> and saying things i i don't know it's <laughs> video game physics are wild to me gonna try my keys anyways no good Such obscenity. It's very unprofessional. Whose room is this? Erica. He just wish to find the shop counter. Oh. There are security cameras. Yes. Is the key the fork on the table? <laughs> says here is the key and it's still like highlighted like you can do stuff who's Simon Simon is five five one seven three Hello, Pickles the Ot. Going pretty good. Also, hello, Tiro. Pikmin 1. Dang. Holding out by themselves with a half black circle. Oh, that's what I was doing, Mooglings. <laughs> I guess that's what you're supposed to do.
I'm sure this is locked. I just want to unlock it. No. Is it locked? Wait. This is locked. Okay. Hmm. Erica. That's what we'll play as next. If I ever die. This guy is powerful, though. Barely to watch the TV. Ooh. I'm here to watch the TV. Oh, hey, it's the crank. I go everywhere else. I think I did. Excuse you, Miglix. I'm invincible. I see something on the cleaning cart. Yeah, what about this? Does the guard Erica? Yeah, you guys are the ones that got me killed before. I was perfectly fine. What is, um... How far down did I go when I came to here before? Was this locked? I don't remember. <laughs> nah. There's a lock. I have a key. Mm -hmm. Now I can go through. Into this creepy basement. Mm -mm. Of course it's locked. I have two keys. Hello. Somebody threw something away in the waste paper basket. Mm-hmm. End of shift. Oh my god. Walter. <laughs> Walter. That's how Walter killed. That's how Walter became the uh, crazy killer. The unofficial lore. Yo, is that an axe? Yeah. I'll take this. 
classic metal adjustable wrench. Classic. Not the axe, though. The axe is not useful. That'll only get me killed. I think there's something on the other side. <laughs> uh, I think we want to go that way. Oh, God. This guy's me. Just coughing a whole bunch. <clears throat> I wish there was more, like, leeway to this. Close to the moving frame as possible. Alright, well, bye, Alexander. <laughs> On to Erica. Bonus per. Oh, dang it. <laughs> now I have to go all the way back. None of your character's attributes will help you survive the <laughs> Requiem. Oh, wow, cool, thanks. <laughs> Yo, does she have a, um... Flashlight? Oh, now she's got the lighter. Oh, no. Normally that's followed by, oh no, she's cute. Our Russian friend died. No. It's not like dad to leave the lights on after closing up. No, definitely not dead. Definitely very much still alive. Absolutely nothing bad happened. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going the wrong way. Uh... <laughs> um I don't I don't know. It's up to the imagination. <laughs> Player interpretation. That's my response. Uh, what do you think happened? <laughs> uh, yeah, he definitely died in this hallway. And we're going to go pick up his stuff right here on the floor. My stuff now. Whose bag is this? Um, what was it doing? I found some keys and some cleaner. And this is a wrench. <laughs> uh...
<laughs> Gonna bust some butt. The room is empty. I don't know what else I was expecting. Death. Oh, wait. Hello. Hmm. Favorite items, sword and gun. Oh. Oh. Uh, Check. Mm -mm. Uh, I can't think of anything that could be it. It's all the codes I have are five digit numbers. So what else do I have then? This wrench and this cleaning stuff. I wonder what a radio cassette player does. Alright, this is not a bad idea. <laughs> There's nothing. I guess if you start to hear the music box, you can play the radio set. Uh, oh, actually. Now we got uh, this right here. That I think I can do. House keys. The heck? That gives me access to three new rooms. And this wrench I already had. Huh. Where were those rooms? Uh. the other keys uh -huh. worked like a charm uh oh the mannequin's naked Sherlock Holmes all right here we go oh here we go you all ready <laughs> She is so dead. Should we take the blanket off? I'm 100% sure she's going to die if I do. 110% sure. Not even going to try. 
<laughs> she sent us a big mirror. And we, since we've been like breaking all the mirrors, so we don't see the music box. Yes. Sebastian. I have heard the melody. Oh no. There is nothing in this room. Is it needed to prog to progress, Mooglix? <laughs> I don't want to kill the girl. Mm -hmm. I'm 100% sure that it's going to kill her. Oh man, this is a long stretch of a hallway. <laughs> See, this is why I don't open it. <laughs> Wake me up inside. I don't like this hall. Only because I haven't figured out how to do the not the coughing thing. How badly do I want to know? I just want to know if it's going to kill me. <laughs> Is it? Uh, I... I want to know, because I'm never, I, I, I would get stuck in this game before I went back to the mirror kind of thing. Does that make sense? I'd never go back to that mirror otherwise. I would spend 20 minutes, like, getting lost before I looked it up in the walkthrough and was like, oh, yeah, I'd never go back there. <laughs> Instant coffee. I see. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. Mm -mm. Mm, yes. Big hug. Kept a copy of the key to the house and the display case and the showroom inside the Chinese puzzle. Hmm. That's not cryptic. <laughs> Uh, first wheel is eight. Second wheel is five. Third wheel is... Wait. Hold on. <laughs> A 
it can't be 1411 because the third and fourth, fifth wheel, um, I mean, because that only goes to nine. Uh, my other guess is that it doesn't include certain things. Can oh. five fourteen two eleven. Can't write it in Roman numerals. Heckin' Walter. This doesn't seem right. What is this place? <laughs> she can't remember. That's what she said. She's like, come on, Erica. You can remember this. And then she didn't. You know, I hope the ring girl comes out of the TV. Something's wrong. Dad, where in the world have you gone? Every Erica I've ever really known, just thinking back, every Erica I've ever known, well, I was really smart. Ah, oh, heck. Hey, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Nope. <laughs> Big nope. Can't hear any but the, anything but this guy like crying. Ah, oh, yes, the bathroom where he woke up twice. But wait, there's another mirror right there, right there. It's not broken. It's weird to me, and like I should be used to it, I don't know. <laughs> when there are rooms that have absolutely no purpose. I hear like a rocking chair. Oh god. The door. Go for it. Run, you dingo. She's not very strong. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Ooh, I was expecting that to be worse because she's not very strong. What the hell is going on? Huh? Well, well, were there always nooses all over the ceiling? <laughs> were those always there? <laughs> I don't remember them being there. It was always there. Uh, there's like some ghosts in some of those. Hmm. I d most definitely don't. Huh. I have some ingredients. Uh, like this one. Oops, that's not an ingredient. <laughs> this one. I don't hear that guy crying anymore. There's no way those were there earlier. <laughs> oh god, do we go back in this room? Bye, Erica. Oh, he's gone. Set the bed on fire. <laughs> Wherever that guy was. Hmm. Who was that dude? I don't know. I think he's hanging somewhere, though. <laughs> I assume he was going to kill me. I mean, we'll never find out. Unless somebody looks it up. A Ouija board. Spooky I hand. Oh God! <laughs> In here? <laughs> oh God! I forgot how to do this. Oh, she's got music playing. So she can't hear the song of horror. <laughs> Is 
Weezy. Is she wearing braces? Nah, I think it's just graphics. This shit is just too strange. I must be losing my mind. <laughs> Yes, graphics. Oh, man. Do we investigate? All right, team. I'm fairly certain those nooses were not there earlier. <laughs> go in <laughs> oh we, we have so much to live for uh we're going in dad are you in there it's locked uh. heck dude You can still hear it from here. Did we check? We didn't check this room. Uh, is this even a room? Oh, here we go. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> girl in the first house. I remember a girl in the first house. Hmm. Bum, 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 Oh, wait, can I play the piano? Hmm. Piano didn't play back. stuff all over her face. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Uh, Agros Legrant. Wait, I already looked for that. <gasps> the guy was not there. There was no Legrants. Gave us the letter and then poofed. Oh, yeah, that was like in the attic, I think. Um, I would assume the, that means he would have given us a coin, maybe? Because the girl, the letter, the haiku, was a collectibles thing. Take this. Erica, thanks for nothing, Daddy. Dear daughter. Uh... 
red plastic key. Let's not open the fridge. But this is Silent Hill related. Box of dead cockroaches. Ew. That's not. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, I've got to go somewhere else to hide. She is definitely going to die. There are yeah, no, I've got to go somewhere else to hide. I've got to find a hiding place. No. This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. <laughs> oh God. Dang it. <laughs> I went in the wrong room. Bye Erica. I'll miss you. Yeah, she has a weapon. Oh wait, he has a weapon. Uh. <laughs> um. Well, I just went in the wrong room. Was my problem. <laughs> if I had gone in the right room. I mean, I played enough, um, Clock Tower 3. Just kidding. <clears throat> Are we in France? I don't think so. Everything seems to be in order and quiet, but I'd better check things out in here. Um, I 100% forgot how to get to where my stuff is. I will, however, go in here. All right. Oh. Can't write it in Roman numerals. So eight seven eight one two three four five oops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen one two uh eleven Cylinder box puzzle. Hmm. 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 Because I need the other piece, which is with Erica's stuff. Erica's stuff. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. 
bum, 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 bum. Did she die? Whose stuff is this? Oh, I see. Uh... Oh, I thought that was an eye. It's Cthulhu. the uh was that this room
Are these locked? No. The door is up. Did we find a kitchen? Yes, I think so. Also found this place, uh, which has a lot of doors. Bitch is blocked by a uh, tricycle. I can't listen in on this room. back to find out where Erica's room is. <laughs> Erica Faber. What was the other name? Oh, A. A grass. Four three C. Is that this door? Yeah. I'm sad we don't get to go to Erica's apartment with Erica. All right, B4. This is the first floor. Never look out the window. You get thrown out the window. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
B four three C. True Silent Hill experience, checking every door. What the heck? Nope. <sighs> this A is upside down. No way. Nope. Mm -mm. If I was Erica, B four three C. The, is there another building? There's probably another building. One, two... Oh, they're all labeled. Block four. C3. So it's gotta be here. Shopping cart. Is there a gun in there? Ha ha ha. Third floor. Carbon C. We should go into Heather Mason's room. Too bad I didn't write down which one that one was. Officer. Anyone in the house? Anyone in the house? What if it was Erica? She was like, Honey, I'm home. Too bad Erica died. It looks empty. I don't have a search warrant. But something tells me we're dealing with an emergency. <laughs> Rebellious image. I do not like one bit. I wish I could make out what it was. Instructions on chemicals. Uh, uh, uh. I'm 100% looking that up. <laughs> I'm all for solving some puzzles or whatever. Mixing chemicals. No, thank you. I've done my uh, oxidation charts enough times in my life. Hmm. True words. One puzzle I have to look up. Uh oh. I wonder what I said I wasn't going to do. Right. The mirror. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, I'm gonna get sucked in. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> uh oh. I don't remember what else I said I was never going to do. Feel like a petty thief. All right, we're digging in. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't hit my sensor ready. The heck, Erica, just leaving stuff like out everywhere. I forgot what I needed. Sodium something. I don't know what I'm looking for. through stuff for mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go again what am I rummaging through her stuff for <laughs> what am I looking for Nothing here. Hmm. This is a long hallway. I need a key for when I have a uh, gun. Nope. Small key. Or. to go down this hallway and shoot whatever's at the end of it like the game just ends it's like you saved everything the monster is dead You some pet food. Scorpion. Hmm. 
How many times do we have a discussion on on scorpions' pets? <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Now we put our hand in. Hmm? Here we go. <laughs> Bling. Hmm. Didn't die. Oh, but I didn't listen in first. Ah, uh, yes. <sighs> Old Keith. Security door to the shop. Red plastic key. <laughs> There's so many keys. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Either I can look it up or you can have already looked it up for me, Mooglex. There was like the red keys. Alright, hold on. The red key for the safe, red plastic key, is the only one I can think of, but I don't know where it is. Oh, here we go. Take the third key, gold key. In the left second row. Oh, wait. We start. Take the third key from the left second row. What does that even mean? <laughs> Oh, second row, don't take any of these keys. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Third key from the left. All right, all right, I got it, I got it. Third key, uh, third row, take the first key. <clears throat> Fourth row, take the fifth key. Silver key. All right. I'm surprised I didn't need the red key. Hmm. Thank you very much. I did not want to go back and forth like 400 times. Uh, what the heck? Ghost, monster, demon. Hmm. Where's Simon? Do not go downstairs. Got it. Hmm. Here we go again. Diving in. I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking for. Good. There it is. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Whatever.
Got to remember where the bathroom is. And then I see the <gasps> Man. <gasps> My report's going to be quite colorful. <laughs> You lucky? Am I lucky? Or just very good at noticing things? Is that Walter Sullivan? <clears throat> oh. Yeah, I was not intending to ever check that. But then I saw, I saw it. I'm very observant. Sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. I question mark? I'm going to need this saw. Right. All right, I have not a lot of a ideas on where to go at this point because there's too many places to go I kind of feel like I need to do that like last. So options right now. Uh, this is where I just got keys for. I have two chemicals. Hydrogen peroxide and whatever the other one is. Lum lum so this room... The one on the right, I think, was the one with the ghost. Alright, so we can do this right now, I think. How did I get there? leave. Ah, <laughs> uh, I didn't check the door. Ah! Uh, I 
Ow. Make your wish. Whoa. I see your future. What do I see? Something there that shouldn't be. Uh. Uh. This way. Oh boy. Let's run down this hall. I'm still holding up. Why does this game have tank controls? There's no option to change the controls at all. I'm actually very surprised it doesn't have tank controls. Alright, that other room was like death. But this room, on the other hand, seems quite alright. Crowbar. We are past the era. Well, I'll see the, for games no like this. Coming here now. I'll come back later. What? Um, tank controls make games like this a lot easier. To deal with when you're transitioning screens all the time. Mm -hmm. So having the option, I I think it was the Resident Evil, hold on, the Resident Evil One remake. Uh, you can use the analog stick to move like around, or you can use the digital pad to move with tank controls. And it was nice because you could switch back and forth as it was, excuse me, as it was like necessary made doing a lot of stuff easier. We need to find a wardrobe. What am I looking for a wardrobe? What? I... what? <clears throat> Map not available. Uh. You know what that means. Oh, uh, no. Why? <laughs> no point coming here now. I'll come back later. Hey, it's a mannequin. Hello? No point coming here now. I'll come back later. You keep telling me that. But I don't know where I am. I There's like a 900% chance I'm probably nope. going to die down here. Mm -hmm. No point coming here now. Uh... <laughs> No point coming here now. <sighs> I'll come back later. No point coming here now. I'll come back later. Mm -mm. No point coming here now. You keep telling me that. I'll come back later. You follow the exit signs. No point coming here now. I'll come back later. I right, do I need to be here now? <laughs> you keep telling me no, but I feel like I'm gonna need um chemicals no or something. Point coming here now. I'll come back later. Oh, you keep telling me that. I have them all. I just have two chemicals, did I not? 
Hey, wardrobe. I have uh, hydrogen peroxide and luminol. Am I supposed to? Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to combine them all into? It? Oh, no point in coming here now. No way. I don't have three. I don't have three things. I assume I have to make a thing in order to find out if no point coming here now. Come do I have to go back to the chemical lab? Lab some chemicals? No point coming here now. Oh, I want to go in that door. <laughs> ah! Oh no, it's coming! Ah! Uh. Negative. There's no way to hide. I can't hide here. Well, I'm dead. Uh, I mean, I can't hide here. I can't hide here. There's no under the table. Quickly. <laughs> oh, let me just hide under this table. Proceed with caution. Um, alright, so I'm guessing I have to go to the the lab. Uh I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, Delita. We got Luminol in Erica's house. Erica's room. Locked inside of a cabinet. For some reason. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. All right, how do I do this? Because I 100% don't want to do this. RT. RT. Um, very slowly. Drain to 255. Two twenty five. What does it say? Hold on.
Uh, I guess that's the bubble sound. <laughs> Easy every time. Right now the other question I have is do I not need this to find out if it's working I feel like I need a flashlight to go with this unless this goes with this right uh -huh. aha <laughs> nope. all right so now I think I have everything time to die I those nooses weren't there originally. Ah. I didn't say it, but I almost did. That a really long hallway. <laughs> I was gonna say, wow, we haven't seen the uh, the blind guy in a while. And I was like, no, don't say it. <laughs> oh, heck. Not where I thought I was. I feel like if I say anything at all, I'm just gonna jinx myself. <laughs> Can't say anything. Right, here we go. Hold your breath. I remember when I would speedrun Dread out, and you had to go through the long hallway with all the moths. I was always like, all right, open your mouths. get chased by something. Uh, I can do anything the forensics team can do. This is not it. Hmm. 
Ah, dang it. <laughs> I have a gun. What is <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so loud. Let's go right back outside. Too late to request reinforcements. I don't know what that horrific thing was, but I must proceed. <laughs> Is it safe? Yes, it's safe. It's very safe. Oh no. This is definitely not it. We're probably dying down here. I mean, I know I'm supposed to look for a wear, uh, wardrobe. But like... I have no, I have no map. Oh, interesting. All right, hold up. Uh, yeah, but there was a gate in the way. Uh, where is right here? Yeah, like it goes like it goes through here, but there's a gate. I don't know uh, what the sound is for the thing chasing me. I I don't like this, but I think it's very well designed. I don't I don't like this because it's annoying. But I think if like you were spooked, this would be really well done. 
<laughs> oh, found it. Wait, I've been in here. Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm gonna get sucked in. The box isn't here. I've got it. I've had it all this time. <laughs> How could it be possible? What the devil is happening to me? I have to get to my office. I must wrap it and send it to its owners. Le Grant Amsberg. They're the ones who... The office. I'm going to... I hear them crawling all over. And screaming. Me too. Erica, come to my office. We'll, we'll all be there then. What? <laughs> Him and the mirror guy? Mm -hmm. All right now, the, the real question is how do I get out of here? I too wish we could save Erica. Uh oh. Ah! Uh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I love the way he like turns. Oh no! <laughs> Not gonna save her, but we are gonna join her. I have a crowbar now, though. Now I don't have a crowbar. I have to get to the bottom of this. To Mr. Farber's office. I wonder if this room's still haunted. What is this accent? Uh, I assume Jamaican. It's kind of where it sounds like it's from. I don't know much about European accents, though. Which Jamaica is not, not in Europe. I'll <laughs> just throw that out there. Very aware of this. Dude, what is this place? This place was haunted earlier. And I couldn't go in here. It seemed like it was an instant death trap. I'm assuming his office is the room I couldn't get into earlier with all the ropes. Ropes. The ropes. my flashlight now oh interesting this is my flashlight now <laughs> wait can I like look around with it no At the end of this episode, I 
Dang. That was father. Father. God. Ooh, I got two Don't even want achievements. to think about what must have happened in his final moments. As he was hanging from that noose with the bloody music box on the table next to Oh no. I don't want to think about it, but somehow, very deep within me, I know the song was playing throughout his agony, stalking him to the very frontier between life and death. God. At least we had found the music box, and we knew where it came from. The Grant Amsberg auction, it said, on the list of product lots, alongside an address. Mm. According to Husha, and things had improved after returning the box to Faba. So by returning it to its owner, perhaps we might be able to solve all this. Sounded unlikely, but considering my hallucinations, the things we found at the antique shop and Mr. Faba's terrible end, if it could all come to some good, we had to try it. I'm really sad we don't have Erica with us anymore. From the world, in a holiday manner that must be about 100 years old, the lady who owned the sinister box. Would Erica have come with us? For my little Ariadne, read the engraving on the inside of the cover. Good for her then. <laughs> oh well, well. Wait. I can't imagine an elderly woman living here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Some of the people from my group therapy, yes, perhaps, but an elderly woman approaching the age of ninety. I don't know. The papers from the auction stated that the owner had sold most of her furniture, but that she still lived here. Mr. Grant? Hello? This place gives me the creeps. Did we? <laughs> Hello? Are you Miss Legrant? Ariadne Legrant? Amsberg. Pardon me? Legrant Amsberg. It's hyphenated. Oh. Mm. Well, my name is Daniel Neuer, and I work for a publishing firm. Through a series of chance occurrences, I found something I believe is yours. <laughs> She's like, nope. Seems crazy. She's gonna shut the door. Listen to it. That's its box. Um, no. I think it belongs to you. On the cover, it says... I wasn't speaking to you. Thank you for bringing it back, Mr. Neuer. Have you listened to it? No. Um, yes. <sighs> he has listened to it. Oh, no. <laughs> that same night. Thanks for giving me a place to stay. I think the walls would come closing in on me if I were alone. It's no trouble, Dan. You're going to be paying for any pizza, though. Of course. You can sleep in your bed. I'll stay here on the couch. Thank you, Your Majesty. Have a good rest, Sir Daniel. You too. This is not what's her face, Erica. I don't know who this lady is. <laughs> she was in the start of. Episode two. He said her name, but I don't remember what it was. Hey, Lydia. Lydia. Uh, Lydia. Daniel, you alright? <laughs> Are you alright? You just like slammed. Not been a nightmare. I was awake, for certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like. Like those described by father in his letter shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer. But his whereabouts were still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers. Among the documents, he was researching while delving into the box's origins. Hmm. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husha, but this time 
My life depended on it. Hmm. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Let's see who it lets me play as. Hmm. We brought Renee with us. I guess it's just whoever rescued previously shows up. It's interesting. Only we had what's her face. 